Right up, and today I want to go ahead and talk about the Courtney Hippo Safari Boot from African Sporting Creations. Now the boot itself prices in about $5.99, and I think, you know, hey, that is very expensive. But when you think about the boot overall, how you're going to use it and how long it's going to last you, how durable, how functional it is, I think you may end up buying a pair for yourself. So the boot was uh, created by a guy named John Rice, and during the Rhodesian War, every able-bodied male had to go out there, and they had to go ahead and serve, serve for a certain part of the month. And he thought, well, the boots aren't particularly well made, and he decided to come with his own boots. So he started to scour the uh, junkyards, and he found the tire treads, and he decided to use those tire treads. He cut them up and decided to put them on the uh, bottom of the boots. And today you have this outsole that's very similar to the pattern that they were using originally and how durable it is. So there's a cult following that calls these the 10,000 mile boots. People do love them. In fact, Forbes wrote an article, I believe it's called um, Out of Africa, the best boot that you've never heard of. And they've shipped them to, you know, warriors uh, in Afghanistan, the Green Berets and the 10th Mountain Division have used these. I know hikers, I know uh, hunters, I know trackers that use them and they like them. So let's talk about the boot itself. And the boot itself is a hippo hide. It's very similar to an elephant hide. Um, it's you know, got a pattern on it, but it's it's soft. It's very, you know, it feels like velvet. It's very supple, um, but it's very durable. So this hide is so thick, it's thicker than most boots that you're gonna get, the hide uh, or the leather that you're gonna get. So I was very shocked by that. It's, it's thin, but it's tough as heck. So that's one great feature about this boot. The other thing about the boot is it's got this really soft, uh, upper you know this collar right here and you don't want anything rubbing on your ankle or on your calf when you're walking and irritating that the other thing is you've got this mouth that can open up very very wide you can get your foot right in there and so the boot opens up very very wide the other thing about it is it's got this very soft and I, I can't even express how gentle this this impala tongue feels so not only is it very soft it's extremely tough and you're going to get a lot of padding what's really important is when you have an instep right you have tendons and you have blood vessels and you get your shoelaces boot laces that are going to rub and irritate on your instep you want something that's going to give you a lot of protection it's going to be very durable and it's not going to fall apart it's going to be very soft and it's going to feel great when you're walking the other thing is you've got these uh, brass eyelets and eye stays and so in combination with the um the the mouth of the boot you can speed lace these so let's go ahead and do that so we can speed lace these just like this and you can get your boot on and off very very quickly so you've got this neat little leather box on the back it shows you know the manufacturer but it also gives you a lot of protection against um, you know branches and bramble and scree rocks that kind of thing you've got a very durable toe box as far as fit I would go up a size so if you're a size 10 go up to a 10 and a half if you're an 11 go up to 11 and a half consider also though when they give you the boot they're gonna go ahead and give you inserts so you're gonna get a super foot insert. You know, I use my own Dr. Scholl's in here and I stack them and I put them right in here. I like them. Um, when you get the boot, they're gonna give you two pairs of inserts and then you're gonna decide, you know, do you want the smaller insert or larger insert and you can return the other ones or keep them. But, uh, you know, depending on how, how, how much room you like in the toe box or in your heel, you know, how much movement you like in your foot. For me, um, I like a lot of room and also, you know, when you're running in them, uh, your feet can swell up to about, you know, a half inch. That's a lot of size difference. So you don't want your toes to rub up against the side or in the, in the, in the, in the toe box there. Um, this is a boot that you can run in. You can be very active in. So this is what I would call a zero drop. Uh, most uh, boots or shoes have either a four, eight, or 12 millimeter heel. And the thicker the heel, the harder it is to get a good toe off. You know, you're pushing off, you're, you're jumping up. Um, you're moving laterally, you're going side to side. And so with a bigger heel, you can't do that. That's why you see a lot of CrossFit shoes. You see a lot of Olympic shoes. You see a lot of footwear that's very athletic um, where you have a lot of grip. You know, the more surface that touches the ground, the better. And so I like this. Um, so this has got a zero drop heel, which is fantastic for you. So let's talk about durability. I give it a five out of five functionality. You want to hike in this, you want to run in this you can do do that and I'd give that a five out of five as far as style I'm gonna give it a five out of five I mean it looks cool you can pair it with jeans you can uh, pair it with you know slacks you can walk around in your tactical pants or your your hiking shorts 
this is the boot to go with stylistically so five out of five i'd say as far as cost i'm gonna give it a three or five, three out of five it's almost a 600 hundred dollar boot but keep in mind man this is not a cheap boot it's not something that's going to fall apart on you it's got a very thick hide this is hippo skin right just like the elephant skin or the ostrich skin it is thick it's going to last a long time and the stitching itself you can see it's got this beautiful stitching very thick durable stitching um overall man i'm gonna give this boot very very high ratings it's a very uncommon boot you're not going to see a lot of them out there at all but if i were to buy another pair yeah i would i'd, I'd get a second or even third pair it's gonna last you a long time and again lots of guys are using them in the uh, special forces and um, it's a testament to the quality of the boot and the company itself so check them out it's a courtney hippo safari boot thanks for watching uh, thanks for watching my quick review and I hope you learned something.